Hello guys and welcome to my Project Wax update for April. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an overview of the candles that I finished off since the last update in February. And then I'm going to add in some new candles. So a project wax for me is basically just showing you guys all the candles that I plan on using up over the next month. And I update you on any progress that I have. And I do actually have some empties behind me and some progress as well as some new ones. I did actually move houses in between this update and the last one. So I have quite a bit to update you on and I'm adding in some new candles because this house works a lot differently than my apartment. <laughs> For reference, I'm now in a three-story townhome and I used to be in a two-bedroom apartment. So it's a lot different as far as how the scent travels through here. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with what I finished up. I'm hoping you can't hear the birds outside, but if you can, they're cute. But we do have um, some birds that just chirp all day long by our house so excuse the birds but anyways the first candle i finished is feel loved champagne cupcake and this one i did have in my empties video because i finished off last month actually but it's a wonderful scent the notes are fluffy cake whipped vanilla frosting and pink sprinkles so just like a cakey vanilla -y scent really nice nothing to write home about but it was really yummy and then i have in the stars which this one is something to write home about my progress is i believe i put it in in february or in january updated it in february and then now we finished it i finished this one in the bedroom and this is probably my favorite bedroom scent of all time it's just so wonderful it is very light and uh, sophisticated and just makes me feel super awesome like before going to bed so I really love that one and the last candle that I finished is black teak wood this one I finished at the new house and the notes are rich mahogany black teak wood dark oak and frosted lavender you guys know mahogany teak wood I definitely need to pick up a new one um, I like to have one just at all times in case I ever need it it's really really good at removing odors so if you cook something that's like really smelly like tacos or something this candle just gets rid of it in an instant and I need that in this house because every time we cook it travels to every single room and like seeps into everything in this house so I need something like mahogany teakwood to get the scent out so yeah this one was about middle of the candle and then we finished it but yeah I definitely need to get a new one and I also want to get a mahogany coconut because that's one of my favorite ones for summer moving on to progress so I have this little collection from candle day and this one is caramel frappuccino. I do have quite a bit of progress on this one. I'm almost done. It's really close. So we are down to here. Definitely going to finish it soon. I haven't really been burning candles in the morning like I used to in the apartment. Um, mostly because I will have like a wax warmer in the office downstairs where I melt my coffee scents. And then I don't need to use one in the kitchen because I'm not even going to be in the kitchen until like 11 or 12 when I get lunch. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I wanna finish this one, maybe just like on weekends or something. And the same goes for brioche French toast. So those two were like my morning candles that I would leave in the kitchen at the apartment, but now I don't really have a purpose for them. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out how I'm gonna finish them. But anyways, this one is right about halfway. And honestly, to me, it smells like um, pumpkin pecan waffles. It is almost exactly that, so it's a nice, uh, weekend scent so I guess I'll have to try and do those two as like my weekend scents next one I have is chocolate drizzled popcorn and this one I really I think I burned it once I didn't even know that I had progress on it but I do have a little bit of progress um, it's chocolate covered popcorn it really just kind of smells like chocolate like faintly of chocolate whenever you walk by it and it's going so I think I'm gonna leave it in the living room and just like have it going after work or something so that's this one, not too much progress on it. And then we have pistachio and toasted vanilla, which this one's so good, you guys. I just started using it in the office downstairs and we are here to here. So I used it maybe twice already. It's so wonderful. It is like the best, oh, it's just the best scent. It's salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds. It's literally just like pistachio ice cream smelling. It smells so good and yeah i'm really loving it in the office for like afternoons it's just like a nice relaxing vanilla scent 
All right, now we have these four over here and I am actually putting in two of the body care scents. So first I have Saltwater Breeze and I tried to put this one in place of Mahogany Teakwood. Didn't really work, <laughs> but it's fresh linen, violet leaves and white water blossom. It's such a wonderful scent. It's really, really yummy. And it is a little bit aquatic, I have to say, um, but it's not really giving what I need it to give down here to get rid of smells. So I'm using it for now. It's amazing and I kind of really want to put it in the bedroom, but yeah, we are right here because I've already been using it a little bit. So we are right here on this one, but I've been using Into the Night in the bedroom actually, and I'm not the biggest fan, okay? I have to say. The notes are Raspberry Noir, Velvet Rose Petals, and Mocha Musk. I've used it a few times already. So we are about right here on the packaging. You can see right there, but this one is like a little powdery. It's a little bit headache inducing. It's a little bit like old lady. I'm sorry. I know you guys love Into the Night, but I'm not loving it in the candle. It's kind of giving me a headache. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm still burning it in the bedroom. So we'll just have to see how that goes, but I really would rather use salt water breeze in the bedroom. So as you can tell, I kind of need to do a candle haul need to do but i need i really do need a mahogany teak wood and like a mahogany coconut and that's it that's like the extent of what i need and then i'm also gonna put in blueberry marshmallow bar this one's exciting for springtime really wanted to put in something like super gourmand to replace like the champagne cupcake that i finished so this one is sugar blueberry sweet vanilla and toasted marshmallows just super fun just like a fun fruity scent I'll use this whenever I feel like breaking up the monotony of like the gourmands and stuff. This is just like a nice fruity scent. So love this one. Oh, and I think I've burned it a few times already. So we are right about here on the packaging. And the last candle I'm putting in is Cozy Linen. And this one's going to go in my office, I think. Um, the notes on Cozy Linen are Lily of the Valley Petals, Sweet Orange, and Cotton Musks. So this is really just a laundry scent super simple i've been using it a little bit so it's already down to here but it's a very very strong single wick so i'm really enjoying that and our laundry room is on the first floor with the office so it kind of works out but that's everything for my little candle project wax update i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know down below what candles are you burning right now as we're transitioning into april and into spring are you guys on like florals are you on fruity like just let me know down below what you're burning right now or have you already moved into the coconuts and stuff for summer because i know they're already releasing like the summer body care and stuff. So I also have not really talked about anything Bath and Body Works in a while on this channel, but the Bridgerton release is really cool to me. I'm still kind of on a no buy for body care. So I am i don't think I'm gonna pick up anything. Um, yeah, if anything, I would pick up like hand soaps and pocket backs and maybe a candle, um, but that's like the extent of what I'm gonna allow myself to buy. So very exciting. I do like Bridgerton. It's really fun. I love the show and I've already started reading some of the books, but um, I'm gonna refrain from purchasing just because I'm doing really good on my no buy right now. And yeah, so let me know if you picked up anything from that collection. I know it's really exciting and it's really pretty. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.